that was released directly on yo 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 what's good it's your boy Gio. you already know who it is man back with another one for you man they talking about your boy charleston white man i just uploaded about how charleston white and woody going back and forth at it and we're not trying to see that because we know what woody capable of and then we know what charleston white capable of man at the end of the day man we just want to see them all come together everybody's supposed to come together man you know you get these opportunities you're supposed to come together and not create beef and start creating drama man and, and you know, getting locked up and all this crazy stuff, but they got your boy Charleston White. He was sitting in the car, man. I guess he was passed out. I don't know if he was on something or he was just tired or whatever, but the video showing that uh, he's getting detained and all types of stuff going on, so I don't know what he got going on. I don't know what's going on with that situation. I will give y'all an update on that soon. I get the information, man. This is crazy. Y'all got to check this one out. Let me know what y'all think, man. It's your boy, Charleston White, man. He was just chilling in the car content. He was sleeping, and the boys just pulled up. I mean, you know, they ain't leave, so... They let you know something's up, so y'all gotta check this one out. Let me know what y'all think about it, man, in the comments, man. Leave them comments, leave them comments for me, man. Run it up for me, run it up, man, and hit that subscribe button, man. You know I love all y'all for all the support, man, y'all been giving me, man. It's been helping my channel grow. It's been, it's getting right, man, to the point where, man, I'm gonna be giving out some stuff to y'all in return, man, for this love, man. So y'all already know. Check this out. Let me know what y'all think in the comments, man, about this whole situation with the Charleston White. And then also drop in the comments whether you think that Woody and Charleston White should continue their friendship. I mean, I know they not they into it right now, but do y'all think they should work that out? Or do you think they should go their separate ways? You know, let me know what y'all think in the comments, man. Hit that subscribe button, man. I'm out. Peace. One love. In October 2022, local officers received a call regarding a man who had been passed out at a traffic light for approximately 45 minutes. Reports indicated that the man may have been unconscious. The suspect in question was identified as Charleston White, a local community activist. Let's see how this unfolded. Hey, yo, Charleston White. You gotta know this man. He's breathing. You gotta know him. You gotta know him. You gotta look, yeah, you gotta this is, he's viral. This is YouTube. He's famous. No? Fort Worth. Right here. Yeah, he, he, Jimmy Fairman, you got some bad things. Appreciate you. Damn, I, I wish I could say the same. Is it locked? Officers kept a close eye on Mr. White to ensure he remained breathing so they wouldn't have to break the window. They were curious as to why he wouldn't wake up after several bangs on the car door. Yeah, probably going to need a patrol unit, I'm guessing. We need to get some units here. Yeah. One in the front, one in the back. Uh, my body won't, it's not, it's not working. Are you guys working? Yeah. Okay, I'm not on. Is, he, is it unlocked? No, it's locked. All right. Let's get a vehicle. Let's do the old pendant thing. So you yeah. Did you uh, call the last plate out? Yes, I did. Okay. Where? I mean, I can see with the eyes. I mean, the eyes are comatose. Yeah. But he's asleep. Yeah. 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 He's breathing, so. Yeah. I guess so. Yeah, there you go. Thank you. All right. All right. Hey, Mr. White. How are you? Yeah, man. I'm concerned about you. Can you get that driver's step out of the car real quick? You're okay. We just want to check here and make sure you're okay. That's all. Yeah, Mr. White, uh, Mr. White, 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 M
you've got these. Hey, Charleston, would you uh, go ahead and listen to this officer right here? He's got a couple things he's got to send you. Hey, how's it going? Hey, what, what happened today? I want to see the film. He did say he was coming from Fort Worth. He lives in Arlington sometimes, Fort Worth sometimes, but he was coming here for the after game. He was a big YouTuber apparently. He was wearing all of them, and they did, there was an odor in the car. They've already looked through the car. Whoa, 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 don't grab on me. Um, you trying to get up? Not, he would not no, no, I'm taking anything. I've already asked him. Uh, why are you trying to grab on me? Hey, I'm going to tell you, you're going to call part of my Woody situation. Real talk. Just the fuck up part of my Woody situation. You know, young niggas think he could go in there and tell and then like he do now. Start to make a mockery out the court and change the shit. They really think that's G shit. Yeah. And I say, man, y'all think Woody the first nigga to do that? They still going to hang them niggas. Man, and they go come and get him on the back end. And they gonna come get, I say, man, you done crossed out the people both ways. You can't go to the street, and you can't go to the uh, police. Yeah. You done played your hand both ways. I say, nobody rocks like that. Say, nigga, they been trying to get him everywhere he go. They just, you about, ain't, they you just ain't about, tell me. Nigga, they just, they just had some warrants out for his ass on some bullshit. Some, nigga, they, everywhere he go, they want his ass. I said, nigga, you, yeah, think, where he go? you think you gonna make mockery of the court system before the world, nigga, they ain't gonna get their lick back. Nigga, you got to be And they ain't gonna get their lick back. Nigga, like, I'm telling niggas, I say, y'all think Woody the first nigga to do it. That's how you know they don't, how irrelevant and oblivious niggas is to that court system. Yeah. Yeah, I'm like, man, you can't play like that, man. They gonna you can't embarrass that, them like that, nigga. They done built their career on this. And you done came in and told information they ain't even asked you for. You showing up on a Sunday the day after, man, they wasn't even looking for you. Yeah, they wasn't even looking for the nigga. This nigga, he's yeah. just showing up. He's just showing up. And then one he just say, okay, this is what we're going to build our career on. You think you're going to turn on them in front of the world. Yeah, he got so, it. Yeah, yeah. you're doing it right. Yeah, you do it right all the way around, but it ain't no rules for that shit, but you just exposing it for what it is. Everybody quit playing. So if you want some money, go tell me. <laughs> Goddamn right. I, I had that PDF to you here in a minute once I, once I get up here to where I'm at. Yeah, all right. All right, my nigga. All right, bet. Yeah, nigga, we finna shame that snitching Woody did. Yeah, it's fun and game till I get mad. Yeah, nigga, you showing up on a Sunday. These people ain't even counting and looking for you. You showing up to volunteer, nigga. Yeah, man, yeah, these people ain't even looking. You just walking in and go tell. They gonna do it, man. He ain't in line on half the people. I want to get the police off me because you scared to go to jail, nigga. What, it, what is it about him that brings people... Um, uh, he a snitch and he a gangster and he a killer. I been yeah, telling y'all that. I came five years ago playing a snitch, talking gangster, talking killer talk. I told y'all this is what they love, this is what they like. I'm just, I'm just mean. If, if I was a nigga that did it like him, they would love me too. But I came talking men, f you bad nigga. F y'all shit. Yeah, I tell on y'all, whole ass nigga. So I came with it enough. If I would have came his way, they would have loved me. But I wanted to come get the hate first. He got the love first. When Thug come home, then he go get the hate. See, right now he ain't getting the love. Because one thing about our community and our culture, we love the hate and we hate the love. We done it to everybody we done love and everybody we done hate it. They go flip on him in a minute. Thug just ain't spoke yet. Yet God in them ain't spoke. Nut brother ain't came home yet. So they go flip on him too. Right now it's just one sided. So he did the 20 v, um, 5 million views. Like, wow. Like, th th this was a huge hit. Um, the interesting thing about these two is that I, 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 I knew they weren't going to, um, they weren't going to last as a duo for, long, for a long time. The thing is, both guys, I think, have experienced the streets, but their outlook on the streets is different. Woody's in the phase of realizing that he has an opportunity to make better of his life, and he seems kind of contrite, even though he's still kind of, he, he won't be bullied out here, and he won't be like, oh, 
ridicule, like, oh, you were snitching people playing his face. But he's kind of contrite about what, he, what he's done. He's talked about God. He's talked about wanting to change. He's talking about not wanting to play with the elements that allowed all the situations to happen. He don't want to be like, yeah, I snitched on y'all. Y'all don't do nothing. He's just saying, yo, listen, I, I, I defend myself, but really I want to just do better for my life. I want to move on. Charleston White, he's made uh, an empire of basically being the guy who, you know, he went to jail really young and, you know, operated in and around, in around the streets. And he's made the point to show the hypocrisy of the street, but also show that the street dudes are really dudes who usually prey on the weak. They have flawed mentality, flawed morals. Um, they claim they don't like snitches, but they end up snitching. And he uses that almost as a shield and also, you know, he uses it in a character type of way. The reason I thought they weren't going to last as a duo, to be honest, is that I don't think Woody's playing a character. I think Woody is a liar in the sense of how he lied on the YSL stand and how he's tried to, like, you know, conceal some of the stuff he's done. But I genuinely think that Woody, who probably was doing shootings for Young Thug for, like, 500 bucks, when he's getting ten, fifteen thousand dollars $15,000 for a 20v1, yeah, he feels fortunate. He feels fortunate that, you know, he got out of a situation that he was probably supposed to do a long time in jail for. I mean, as as crazy as it sounds, yeah, he did tell on Thug. But I do believe he feels sorry that Thug's in that situation, even though I do think he has a better you than me attitude. I don't think he's, like, bragging about it. I don't think he's like, yeah, nigga, I did it and what? And I think that's the, the, the uh, thing that separates these two. Regardless, um, apparently they were supposed to do um, an interview with Say Cheese, and um, apparently it didn't happen. And from what I was told... Yeah, but Charles White got too much jealousy in his heart. Uh, Y'all heard him in his interview, get what he said? He said, uh, and Jill said she ain't never made this type of much, this much money before. Mm, you telling on yourself, homeboy. She come work, she come work with, over here with me. She ain't never made this type of money before. So why you bashing her? Because clearly when she working for you, she wasn't making any money. I break that whole interview down and expose him. The boy's a liar. He's an internet uh, troll. Like, he, 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 think about it. I did a lot of 20 verse 1. It don't matter. What hell Charles White did? Everybody know Charles White for getting on live on Instagram TikTok. Don't nobody know Charles White for doing nothing else. His, his stand-up coming, I ain't never seen no stand-up coming. I ain't never seen nothing. Nah, man. So, yeah. He talk about how they rap or dress and how they walk. Look at him now. Look how he dress. Look at the shoes he got on his feet. I never go buy them tennis shoes. He got chains around his neck looking like a rapper. He got watches on his wrist looking like the same people. He don't stop right here and try to destroy. You know, he tried to break me down, but you, you come on, he should have known better. That's why he ain't never tried it again. Charles, the man, uh, I used to be on Buddy Buddy. We They had us on the Buddy Buddy system, man. You know what I'm saying? Explain the Buddy Buddy system. The Buddy Buddy system is like this. They You on the same dorm, right? It's a dorm with about 30, 40 some people on the dorm. But Buddy Buddy system is everywhere you see him on the dorm, you're going to see me. Everywhere you see me, you're going to see him. Like, we got to be together. Uh, and if one person do something, both of us get in trouble. We both being held accountable for it. Yeah. And that was because at that time, you know, they knew Charleston was calling shots for 6 so I was calling shots for 30. You know what I'm saying? Charleston, he, he, he was 60s, huh? Rolling 60s.